Okay, Jan, SNS provides engines all around the world to all these manufacturers. What does SNS provide for them? Well, we're able to provide an emissions legal engine setup. Uh, it allows us you know, to help them out. They don't have to go through the process, research, and design development to make their vehicle meet emissions if we can already provide those components and engines for them. Uh, for example, uh, this big dog we have out here in the dyno we're testing now. Uh, we provide them an engine and a fuel injection system and we work to develop a setup for them that will meet that emissions and are they enable us to sell engines and also makes it easier for them to develop and build the bikes. All right, what's happening right now is Matt's running a emissions test on the uh, big dog. And what you're seeing right here is the drive trace. Uh, the green line is the trace that the EPA specifies that the vehicle be driven over to measure the emissions. And the red line is actually where uh, Matt is driving that vehicle at. Uh, he has to keep that green line between those two, red, or those two bars at the end of the red line. And he also has to shift the vehicle at all the points indicated. Uh, it gives us a repeatable test. so. Uh, the vehicle each time is done over the same test procedure and it's the same drive trace and shift points used at other labs. So if this vehicle were taken anywhere else and tested, it would be tested in the same manner and the results would come out similar. That is showing the current uh, vehicle speed and the force the vehicle is putting to the dyno or the force the dyno is putting to the vehicle. Uh, it's set up to simulate the vehicle's own inertia for its weight and aerodynamic drag so that driving the vehicle on the dyno is representing actual use out on the road. Uh, so the dyno is going to simulate the same force as the vehicle would see driving down the highway at that speed, uh, both for acceleration and deceleration. 